We would also like to take this opportunity to announce that the closing plenary st uh, session stands cancelled owing to unavoidable circumstances. Panelists were unable to attend the conference owing to personal emergencies, with one of the panelists being the recipient of the Digital India Awards scheduled to be held tomorrow. In this regard, an online panel discussion on the same area shall be conducted virtually soon. Please remain connected to the official social media handles of BIPP for more information about the same, as well as for other events. Moving forward, we would now like to announce the winners of the research poster, comp uh, research poster presentation. Starting with the consolation prize, we have the research poster titled Deployment of Civilian Unmanned Aerial Vehicles in Indian Agriculture, a Policy Network Analysis, authored by Neha Sehra from the Center for Studies in Sciences Policy, Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi, in the consul for the consolation position. For the third position, we have the research poster titled Towards Sustainable Agriculture Through Biofortified Zinc Wheat, authored by Rahul Sinha, Associate Director, Client Insights for Impact, Grameen Foundation India. For the second position, we have the research poster titled Public Healthcare in Meghalaya, authored by Colleen Darika, MLRF Fellow, Meghalaya Institute of Governance. And finally, for the first position, we have the research poster titled Empowering City, uh, City Leaders for Better Urban Governance, authored by V.R. Vachna and Maitri Mugundan from Janagraha Center for De uh, Citizenship and Democracy. Can we have a huge round of applause for the winners, ladies and gentlemen? Now I would like to invite Professor Ashwini Chatre for the closing address and the vote of thanks. I have a lot to thank for, but uh, I will not take a lot of time to go through it. Uh, I do want to take a, a couple of minutes to outline why we did this, building on uh, my welcome address three days ago, two and a half days ago. Just as a reminder for why we are here. The primary motivation for public policy dialogues was to create a space where many different kinds of stakeholders can interact with each other. Government, civil society, academia, often find themselves interacting in spaces that are very asymmetrical in terms of power relationships. When you go and meet the joint secretary or a principal secretary in his or her office, the dynamics are very different, and vice versa. What we hoped to create was a neutral, safe space for many different kinds of stakeholders to interact in a, a flat taxonomy. Everyone is a participant. We believed that such a space did not exist at least as a permanent fixture. It was created occasionally, often almost randomly, by chance. We want to create something that will remain permanent. And uh, I want to take this opportunity, building on this uh, motivation for organizing the first public policy dialogue, to announce that we will do this every year from now on. And we are here by planting our flag in in the first or second week of January to do this every year. The second motivation for organizing the public policy dialogue was to break out of a, uh, what I call a syndrome of death by PowerPoint. To have dialogue requires two things. One, listening is not the same as waiting for your turn to speak. And everyone getting 15 minutes to speak is not the same as dialogue. 
I personally am committed to developing a dialogical ethics where different stakeholders can disagree without losing respect for each other. This is something that academics have tried hard to do over 50 years, and it's still an ongoing and incomplete process. We are not naturally capable of respecting someone we disagree with, but we must learn. And by creating a space where we can choose to interact with someone we disagree with to the extent that we are comfortable with, and then walk away, is an important first step towards developing that dialogical ethics where disagreement is not a reason for disengagement. With these two primary motivations, we created a space where experts could come and talk and others could listen to them talk to each other instead of being talked to from the stage. We tried to create opportunities where participants from different walks of life could find each other. And while there are many ways in which we may have failed to achieve this ambition, I believe that we made a great start. And I want to congratulate, of course, myself and my team, but all of you for making this possible. This face-to-face -face interaction requires commitment, and it requires us to disengage ourselves from our daily professional lives, which are, of course, becoming overwhelming for all of us, to spare time for an uncertain outcome. You are here not just as consumers, and I hope that the experience of participating in the production of an effort is as meaningful to you as exciting it was for, for me and my team here at the Bharti Institute. Over the, the course of your interaction here at the Dialogues, I am sure you have noticed, uh, I would like to call the army of people who have made this possible. And you would have seen only a few of them. This could not have been done without, of course, the people at the Bharti Institute across different projects, but also looking after our education components, our engagement components, and our research, research components. All have come together, all have committed themselves to this task of designing and creating a safe space where people who are interested in public policy in the broadest sense can come and find their soulmates professionally. and forge collaborations so that when they come back next year, they have something even more to report, and that there will be other kindred souls that they will be able to connect to. So I would like to propose a vote of thanks as an official ceremony. I think these rituals are extremely important, simply because we were not sure we will be able to pull this off. And we were even less certain whether we will get the kind of response that exceeded our wildest imagination. We also learned that uh, uh, a third day morning is a difficult time for people to attend a 9 a.m. session. So there are many lessons along the way some of which we may have anticipated if we were uh, thinking appropriately. And we will take all of those into account. But I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you for your engagement, for your commitment, and want to extend a warm welcome to invite you to participate from today onwards in preparing for the next edition one year from now. 
Thank you very much. And food awaits.